EFRAM, or ferroelectric RAM, is a memory technology that combines the best of RAM and ROM. EFRAM is ideal for smart cards, RFID, security, metering, and many other applications that require high-performance, non-volatile memory. What does it mean to say that EFRAM combines the best of RAM and ROM? RAM, or random access memory, is fast but volatile. This means RAM needs a constant power supply to maintain data in memory. Examples are DRAM and SRAM. ROM, or read-only memory, does not need a power supply to keep data in memory. However, ROM is much slower than RAM. Examples are EEPROM and Flash. FRAM offers the best of both memory types. It is non-volatile and faster than conventional ROM. In fact, its performance is closer to RAM than to ROM. Here's how FRAM works. FRAM uses the dielectric film of a ferroelectric material as a capacitor to store data. PZT is used and placed between two electrodes in the form of a thin film. When an electric field is applied across the PZT cell structure, it polarizes the PZT compound. This polarization remains even after the electric field is removed. The compound moves along the hysteresis loop of the ferroelectric material to one of the two stable positions as shown in the diagram. These two positions translate to data storage for binary zeros and ones in the memory cell structure. FRAM offers several major advantages over EEPROM and Flash, including its speed, endurance, low power consumption, security, and tolerance for radiation. Let's look at each advantage in detail. FRAM outperforms conventional non-volatile memory. In fact, it's about 30 times faster than EEPROM. One reason for this incredible performance is that FRAM overwrites the content in a single cycle. Also, the core of FRAM is at the CMOS voltage level, so it does not need a booster circuit, as does conventional non-volatile memory. This greatly increases FRAM's writing speed, reduces the stress on the ferroelectric material, and consumes less power. Here is a real-world demonstration of FRAM's superior performance. In this demo, FRAM, Flash, and EEPROM have been placed on a single board. The test uses the same data size and transfer rate for each memory type. As you can see, FRAM is significantly faster than either of the other two non-volatile memories. FRAM completes the test in half a second, compared to 2.9 seconds for Flash and a full 13.4 seconds for EEPROM to complete the same task. FRAM could run even faster if not limited by the SPI transfer rate. FRAM's high performance is crucial for certain applications. For example, FRAM is used in transit cards which need to quickly interact with the readers at the gate. In this application, data is read from the FRAM embedded on the card Security authentication and fair adjustments are made, and the updated data is written back to the card's FRAM memory, all in the blink of an eye. High-speed FRAM allows for faster transactions and improved traffic flow, enabling riders to move efficiently through the turnstiles even during busy rush hours. Another example is factory automation. In this case, a TV manufacturer does calibrations on a fast-moving assembly line. After the calibrations are done, related data, such as white balance and other information specific to each television, are quickly written to the FRAM-based storage within each TV, improving efficiency in the manufacturing line. For both these applications, FRAM is the high-performance, non-volatile memory of choice. But speed is only one of FRAM's advantages. FRAM also has very high endurance. Conventional non-volatile memory has limited endurance, the number of read-write cycles possible before the material fatigue kicks in and the memory becomes non-functional. 
Flash and EEPROM are typically capped at about 100,000 read-write cycles. For flash memory that uses more advanced process nodes, the cap can be as low as about 5,000 cycles. This low endurance translates into short lifespans and means that Flash and EEPROM are not well suited for applications that require frequent data logging. FRAM, on the other hand, has one million times the endurance of EEPROM. This makes it appropriate for applications like smart meters that need constant data logging and backup. Here is an example to illustrate FRAM's endurance. Let's say your system needs access to non-volatile memory once every second. With an endurance of 100,000 times, conventional flash memory, or EEPROM, will wear out in less than two days. FRAM, on the other hand, will wear out in 317 years or longer. For all practical purposes, FRAM's endurance is infinite. This high endurance makes FRAM ideal for applications where a long memory lifespan is important. FRAM also offers low power operation, about 200 times lower than EEPROM. FRAM runs at CMOS voltages and does not need a power-hungry booster circuit to operate. Fujitsu has also improved the efficiency of its FRAM design, further reducing power consumption. Because FRAM does not need a battery, it is more environmentally friendly than volatile memory. Eliminating the battery also reduces costs and enables a smaller footprint on the printed circuit board. These factors can reduce the production of CO2 during manufacturing by as much as 65%. FRAM is ideal for low-power applications like metering because FRAM consumes little power, does not need a battery, and can safely retain data through many read and write cycles over a long period. Low power operation makes FRAM appropriate for applications like passive RFID systems, where energy is derived from the external reader or writer. The power efficient FRAM can extend the effective distance of the passive RFID. All these factors add up to make FRAM the low power green memory of choice. FRAM is also very secure. Other non-volatile memories employ the charge accumulation principle, which is like turning transistors on and off to store the ones and zeros of binary data. But this process alters the physical structure of the EEPROM in a way that can be detected using an electron microscope, compromising the security of the data. FRAM does not use the charge accumulation principle, this means conventional analysis with an electron microscope can't detect a change in FRAM's physical structure. This keeps the data secure. Fujitsu has also built in anti-tampering mechanisms to strengthen security. Upon request, Fujitsu can further enhance the security by combining FRAM with a rich library of crypto engines, as shown here. The result is highly secure products. FRAM security features ensure end-to-end -end interleave for security locking. This differentiates Fujitsu FRAM from similar offerings. Several of Fujitsu's products are being certified for ISO 15408 EAL4 Plus certification. This is the highest level for consumer applications equivalent to the e-passports in use today. One example of an application where FRAM is employed for security purposes is the Sony Felica, a popular near-field communication electronic payment solution. Another major advantage of FRAM is its tolerance for radiation. One area where this is particularly important is the medical field. The typical dosage in the medical and pharmaceutical sterilization process is over 20 kg. EEPROM cannot survive a dosage of even 2 kg, making it completely unsuitable for such sterilization applications. FRAM, on the other hand, can withstand 45 kg or more, more than twice the usual dosage. FRAM can even handle a second irradiation, which is exceedingly rare, without data corruption. Also, FRAM-based RFID 
has proven to be indispensable due to its radiation-hardened property. There is growing interest in using RFID in the medical industry for anti-counterfeiting measures such as e-pedigree, as well as to enhance patient safety by tracking disposable medical equipment to prevent reuse. Fujitsu's FRAM product line includes standalone FRAM and RFID with FRAM. Customers can also work with Fujitsu to develop custom designs with embedded FRAM. Standalone FRAM, available with SPI, I2C, and parallel interfaces, can be used in any system that requires high speed, non volatile memory. Standalone FRAM gives designers the freedom to employ FRAM in a wide range of designs that demand the high performance conventional non volatile memories cannot provide. RFID is quickly becoming preferred over barcodes to track and maintain audit trails. Conventional RFID uses EEPROM for storage. Replacing EEPROM with high-performance FRAM takes RFID to the next level and opens up applications that are not possible otherwise. This technology is being deployed in various industrial and medical industries. Fujitsu offers FRAM-based RFID with HF and UHF wireless interfaces, and some products also feature an SPI interface. FRAM's affinity to CMOS makes it easy to integrate the technology into existing designs using current design tools and treating FRAM as a black box. Customers can access the FRAM technology through a flexible engagement model with Fujitsu. The engagement can be a simple foundry model, ASIC, custom design, or anything in between. FRAM combines the best of RAM and ROM. Key features of FRAM include its speed, endurance, low power consumption, security, and tolerance for radiation. These qualities make FRAM perfect for applications like smart cards, RFID, security, metering, and other applications that need high performance non volatile memory. Fujitsu is the pioneer and leader in FRAM technology. The company has shipped billions of FRAM devices over more than a decade. Please contact Fujitsu to learn more about how FRAM can enhance your product design.